TPP is the end of democracy. Oh, look at all those ladybugs running around the federal building. Oh, yeah. You need to stop bugging me. Oh, yeah. So, me and about a thousand of my friends hanging out here at the uh, federal building. I'll be setting these ladybugs free today. And I wish I had freedom, but this federal government right here, this one I'm going to be yelling at in a minute, yeah, it won't give me freedom. I should be so lucky. I thought the Constitution of the United States gave me freedoms. There's your camera. There it is. The federal government is supposed to protect our freedoms. The federal government is supposed to be for the people. It's supposed to protect our rights, not decimate them, not trample them. The federal government, this federal government right here, yeah, it's been trampling my rights. And I just hurt my hand banging on the building. You didn't even see it because the camera is over there. Anywho, it's week three, and it's me and a thousand ladybugs and a big old federal building, and I think we can uh, make some magic happen, if you know what I mean. It's a beautiful building. I wish it represented a government that, I don't know, worked for me. So, enough about me. Today, I'm here to talk about the TPP. The TPP, if it passes, will be the end of American sovereignty. I am not being overly dramatic here. This was negotiated in a secret by over 600 corporate advisors, and it means to take away sovereignty. Any corporation that doesn't like a federal, state, or local law can now, if this passes, will be able to sue. If the TPP passes, they'll be able to sue the state, the federal government, or even your city or town, because they don't like a regulation. And then the city, state, or country has to pay the corporation. There are food safety regulations that they don't always work and the EPA and some of the other agencies have a lot of problems, but this would circumvent them entirely. A company wants to import meat from Vietnam and it doesn't have any of the safeguards that our meat has here. Under the TPP, that's just fine. And if you try to stop them, they will take you to court and then they will take your money. This is the worst kind of trade deal because it's not a trade deal, it's a corporate power grab. And I know what you're thinking, wait a minute, the judicial branch is a pillar of our democracy. So let them sue, it won't be a problem. Yeah, the TPP, it invents its own courts, its own legal system, where multinational corporations, they'll sue governments, and it'll go in front of tribunals of corporate lawyers. Who do you think they're going to side with? Under the TPP, our courts won't even matter because it's going to be decided by corporate lawyers on corporate panels deciding what's best for all of us. I mean for the corporations. This is a corporate power grab. We have to stop the TPP. We have to stop it. It is the end of American sovereignty. And if your corporate, <laughs> I meant if your elected representative, I called him a corporate representative because most of them are. But if your legal representative in Congress, your congressperson, you need to, you, you right there, you need to call them and you have to say, do you support the TPP? And if they say, I don't know yet, you have to say, what's taking you so long to say no? Because it's the end of American sovereignty. The corporations have always tried to do their best to limit the power of government so they can have more control. The TPP is the end. It's over at that point. There will be no more sovereignty of state, federal, local governments. None of that will matter because the corporations can take you to court and can take all of your money just because you put a law saying that, I don't know, they should respect the environment. Yeah, environmental laws will be struck down by the TPP. Environmental laws struck down by the TPP. Oh, you can see that coming. That's basically what it's for. You want a Clean Air Act? You want a Clean Water Act? Well, that hurts the company's bottom line. So they're going to take your municipality or your state or your government to court. And guess what? Then you're going to have to pay them money because you tried to have clean air and water. Are you kidding me? So I got so riled up talking about the TPP, I almost forgot that it's 420. And these little fellers, these little fellers are massing for a big jailbreak. They know what's coming. 
They know what's coming. What's up, guys? You ready? Well, empty it into the bag, and then they get to just go free from the bag. And then we're just going to set it right here. Hey, look at all these bugs. They're running around the federal building. Oh, yeah. Ladybugs, federal building. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ladybugs in the federal building. Oh, yeah. Ladybugs in the federal building. Telling that federal building, stop bugging me. Yeah. And as long as I don't bring my ladybugs through those doors, they're not going to stop me. Apparently, this is where they drew the line, right at those doors. So I'm releasing ladybugs just at the tree here. Because that's what I do, oh yeah. And as long as I don't bring my ladybugs through those doors, they're not going to stop me. Apparently, this is where they drew the line, right at those doors. So I'm releasing ladybugs just at the tree here. Because that's what I do, oh yeah. I release ladybugs every Tuesday at 4. Till we stop the war, oh yeah. Ladybugs. Gonna run around that federal building. Gonna tell them what's up, yeah. It's mad mayhem over here at Ladybug Central. Here at the federal building where I've released over a thousand ladybugs to tell the federal building, to tell the federal government to stop bugging me. Whoa, would you look at all them ladybugs. They're running around the federal building. Oh, yeah. Don't let anyone tell you different. I love this flag. I love the American flag. Not all these weird, blacked out, looking blue line down the middle flags that are coming up. The big fight about the Confederate flag itself and everything it represents. This is an emergency in America. We need to fix this now. We do. Write me in. That's all I can say. Everyone writes me in and then I'm president and then I fix everything. What do you want me to do? And I yell at this federal building behind me, not because I'm separate from it, but because it's mine. It's yours. Unless you're watching this from out of the country, in which case you're probably gung-ho about the idea of stopping the corporate takeover of America. The corporate takeover, we're, we're supposed to say things, what they are, what's happening if you vote for either Hillary or Trump. Hillary and Trump are the corporate candidates. If you vote for them, it's just going to get worse. So, of all the other choices you have, what are you going to do? You can't vote for them. What are you going to do? You're going to write somebody in, aren't you? Go, go, Frank Barish. Oh, yeah. Everybody write in Frank Barish. Oh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Frank for president. Not. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thank you. I worry about my daughter's future. Thank you, Daddy. You guys need to write in Frank Barish. Oh, yeah. I know it. You know it. We all know this country's in trouble. That's why surfers will write in Frank Barish for president. You guys ready? Here he comes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Frankie B. Yeah, we do. We love you, Frank. Thanks. This has been the economic policy of this country for far too long. Write me in and I'll fix it. This bee is dying. Why? Hillary Clinton's not going to stand up to the companies that are killing our bees. I will. I'm at the federal building ranting about the government. Our government. I'm just speaking to Americans now. The rest of you can sit this one out. Just get some popcorn. Every week I'm going to come here at 4 on Tuesday. Because the slogan is every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. I'm yelling at this building. It deserves to be yelled at. It's doing horrible things, and I want it to stop. It's that simple. So anyway, some of these ladybugs are stuck at the top of the bag. I think I might shake them out, let them know they can go free. Hey guys, go free. I might cut a little bit more. Oh, and here comes guy number one. What's that, son? I have no smokes. I got no smokes, brother. Huh? I do not smoke the cigarette, sir. Sorry. I wish you best of luck in your endeavor, though. I don't know what that is. Babylon? The trees of Babylon. Babylon. The tree of what? Eucalyptus trees? Babylon. All right, then. Good luck with your cigarette. I don't smoke. No, no, I don't want one. Thank you anyway. All right.
right. That's interaction number one. Where'd it go? Yeah, there it goes. Down the, down the way. Let's really actually stop it. Because this is the end. This is where we draw the line. Is at the TPP. Taking away democracy completely. Done with that. Obama pretended he was a liberal and he's doing the same thing the Clintons did. Sold out the economy. And Donald Trump is the wrong guy to go against her because he's a raving racist lunatic. So what if there was a third option? What if there was a way you could tell the system? Ah! What if there's a way you could tell the system? Ah! What would you do? Well, on election day, you could write in Frank Barish. You could do that. They do their thing. They do their thing, man. They fight mosquitoes. They fight mosquitoes. They eat mosquitoes. Mosquitoes were like meals for them, and they don't like the taste of humans. That's what I like about ladybugs. They do not like the taste of humans whatsoever. We discuss them. So I set them free, and they eat the mosquitoes, and the mosquitoes don't bite us. That's what I do. I'm like like the Johnny Appleseed of uh, I'm like the Johnny Appleseed of ladybugs. <laughs> All right, federal building. I'm going to call it a day. Ladybugs have been dispersed. I've yelled at you about the TPP. But you at home, I mean, you can watch me every week come here and yell at the federal building. But something you have to do if you want to stop the TPP, this is one simple thing. You call your senator and you call your congressman. You ask their office, do you support the TPP? If they say yes, you start yelling. No, no, don't yell. You give them a stern reprimand for their corporate sellout vote, which is the end of democracy. The TPP is the end of democracy. 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 Oh, yeah, it is. The TPP is the end of democracy. Let's make it go away. Don't let your senator and your congressperson vote for it. Don't let them. Just don't let them. It's that simple. They're going to do it if they're a corporate sellout. You got to make them go, holy shit. I don't want to piss off the people who actually voted for me. Oh, yeah. That's what you got to do. That song right there, that song is how we stop the TPP, basically. Let's do this. The TPP is the end of democracy. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. They're slowly dispersing amongst the trees and they're gonna look for yummy mosquitoes and they won't find any so they're gonna fly over there and then kill mosquitoes over there and then they'll spread and they'll have offspring and San Diego will be protected from the Zika virus and just itchy mosquito bites. Clinton and Donald Trump have in common? What, Lord? They'll both start World War III. <laughs> it's not funny.